Hey there guys and gals, my name is Luke. Welcome to the Outdoor Gear Review. Today for this episode, I will be showing you all the best way to repair your tent if you develop a hole in the mesh. Go ahead, get comfortable, let's get started. If you watched my overnight adventure, The High Road, in that adventure in the middle of the night, I was sleeping away and I was startled by this loud pow sound, right? It sounded like someone was kicking a can right next to me. So I grab my headlamp, I turn it up to the brightest setting, and I'm peeking through the mesh of my tent. Well, my headlamp was so bright, so hot, that it melted the mesh. So with that being the case, I need to make some repairs. And I'm going to show you all the best way to go about fixing holes, melts, and so on with your mesh on your tent. Now, to get started, you will need a few things. One, you will need some rubbing alcohol. And that's to clean the surface essentially clean the mesh. Next up, you need some scissors. You will need a rag. This right here makes this process oh so very easy. These are repair mesh kits from MSR and they are incredibly easy to use. There are many mesh repair kits out on the market and some of them can be a huge pain in the butt. They can create a huge mess. These are what I personally recommend and you will see why in just a minute. So as you can see here, these are the repair areas, which I need to focus on. Now, since I've melted this, I need to cut out all of these rough ridges. Since it's been melted, it's thicker in some spots and thinner in others. So I'm going to take the pair of scissors and I'm going to cut these out because I want this to be completely flat. Now, if you have a cut or tear, it's essentially the same thing. Just cut up the edges, make it nice and smooth. Get rid of any loose threads. Simply cut around it and cut it out. So as you can see there, I got rid of all the rough edges. Yes, the hole is a little bit bigger and that's okay. If you cut it in a circle, you will have less issues with this coming apart in the future. So as you can see here, folks, all of the melted part has been cut out. I've done my best to round these cuts as much as possible. The reason for that is simple. Jagged edges will have a tendency to peel off more so than rounded ones. Now it's time for the rubbing alcohol and the towel here. This is to clean the mesh so that the repair kit will stick to it effortlessly. Just simply go over the mesh here, go around the corners, go around all sides, front and back. This is especially important if your tent is very dirty. If it's not, I'd still recommend that you give it a quick wipe, but you don't have to give it as much attention. Once that is done, let it air dry for a minute or two. So now it's time to move to the repair kit. Each one of these is three inches in diameter and you have four of these. On one side, you have the mesh. On the other side, you have a sticky back. These are self-adhesive. Now, if you have a slice in your mesh, maybe a rip, maybe a cut, this is going to be very, very simple because you can simply just peel off the back and place it against the mesh material. And thanks to the adhesive side, it's a quick repair. But if you have a hole in your tent like I do, you have to worry about the adhesive side sticking through the mesh and you will have to address it. Now, since this hole is so big, I'm not going to cut this patch. I'm simply going to peel off the adhesive side and I'm going to stick it right here, right on top. Use your fingernail and begin to peel this off. What I like to do is leave that backing on and get it started right on the edge of my material. And then pull it tight over the material. Just like so. Then do a circular rub on this and make sure that it has full contact all the way around. Of course, do your best, right? Nothing in life is perfect, so don't expect this to be perfect either. So as you can see here, the hole has been patched, but on the other side, because of that hole there, you have this big sticky section and that will need to be addressed here. So what I'm going to do is this, I'm going to take a second patch and I'm going to place it on the opposite side to cover up that sticky hole right here. Then I will be ready to go. All right, so I'm going to lay this down on top, essentially over the other patch, on the opposite side, of course. Get it started in a corner, pull it tight. And just like that, it has been fully repaired. 
make sure to rub this nice and good. You wanna make sure that all the edges are completely flat, that they're fully adhering to the mesh. This is definitely easier with two people, so if you have a helping hand, that's a plus. But right there you go. That is how you do it. Now for these smaller holes, I'm going to take a patch, cut it down to size so it fits perfectly, and do the front and the back. So I got the front of this patch done. Time to flip over to the back side. Perfect. So folks, the repairs have been completed. Nice and easy. Very, very solid, not coming off. Also very inexpensive. Now folks, I hate to interrupt this video, but I wanted to let you all know that I have a Patreon page set up so you can support the channel. So if you like seeing content like this, you want more adventures and so on, support the channel. Every dollar is appreciated. Guys, I appreciate you all, even if you cannot support through Patreon. Now with these repair kits here, these run about $7 on the MSR website. But if you purchase these from Amazon, you will pay double that price, $14. So even at the $14 price tag, that's not bad to very easily and very simply repair your tent. As mentioned before, there are many repair kits out on the market. They are not all created equal. Some involve tubes of glue. It could be a huge mess. I don't recommend that route. I have found that this really is the easiest way to go. They last forever, very easy to use. You can throw this inside of your miscellaneous kit just in case because accidents do happen just like this, right? This is absolutely the easiest, the simplest, and the least expensive way to repair the mesh on your tent if you have an accident, if you cut it, rip it, or even burn a hole in it. If you guys have any questions for me, email me. Until next time, strength and honor, be well.